to kind of see the, the references. Uh, I'm 30, so I might be a bit dated now. Um, so, yeah, this next poem kind of deals with um, my relationship to, um, to men, well, in this context, kind of boys, really. Um, did anyone here, um, can you give me a cheer if you went to a single sex school? Woo! <laughs> yeah, you might be able to relate to, well, I don't know, like the, the kind of difficulties of, well, for me, it was, some people might have had different experiences. For me, the whole five years, I just didn't speak to any boys at all. So then when I did, it was, it was just, well, from, from the age of, I guess, like 16, 17, when I left school and went to college. Um, continuing, it's, it's very difficult to, to navigate um, that. Um, so this is, yeah, kind of dealing with that sort of time where I'm sort of like interacting with boys for the first time and, um, and my experiences with that. Um, so it's called The Unlatching. House party, pulling as many tongues as I could tug, drunk. I asked if I was pretty enough. Before our date, he asked if I was the slutty one. Was I supposed to say yes? Pressed bodies fully clothed when all I asked to do was talk. He spoke in imperatives. Talk then. Toilet tears. Cards from his girlfriend. I was his girlfriend and he never told his mum. While well, he handcuffed me in plastic and I struggled to break free, told me to take off my clothes while I polka dot dressed the floor and on beds in bra and cotton knickers asked me if I had any self-respect. I thought this was foreplay. And I wanted it. Waited for him, drunk on wine, and he came after work, came all apologies. After years stacked up like letters, we'd finally left behind in exchange for flesh, and I wouldn't have cared. But he told me he'd lose respect for me, and well, if that were true, then more for you. I was true. And I will not apologise for believing the words and misplaced musical notes wrapped around your neck. I will not say sorry for meeting someone new, someone new after repeated cliches down phone lines. And I cannot admit I'm crazy for knocking on your door just to know where I stand. I will not regret the tears I cried. I will not judge myself for being young and naive and self-medicated. I respected myself more than the boys I chose respected me. Didn't think that slut was derogatory until it was aimed at me. It was they who doused my body in shame. The only apologies to myself for the mistakes I made for the unmatching. Um, so now 